Nobody can ever say my pigs aren't very well fed. Look at this, they've got oranges, pears, carrots, uh, cauliflower and cabbage along with um, corn and or dried corn and their pig nuts. A beautiful misty morning and it does look like behind the mist is going to be blue sky which will be very good because at the moment I don't have any power. After two days of rain and this mist I am having to plug my um, my modem into my Bluetti to be able to conduct my online visit but yeah beautiful but we need clear skies to charge the solar panels the realities of off-grid living and I've honestly been so busy I haven't had a chance to go and get a diesel um, to run the generator and also you know, if I can manage this way, then I'm saving money on not running the generator. Right, I've got done a lot more bottle breaks, so these ones are now completed. I've got some others still waiting to be washed up. Those are going to be, have their sort of like final rinse, because you get all the little bits of um, glass chips out from inside. And there's some more over here that are completed. Those ones just need to have matching partners. But... Progress. Yoo-hoo. These ones are now ready for the wall. So I'm just getting a whole lot of bricks done and then we'll get back to building the wall. sunrises on the farm and you can hear the birds wake up and start singing it's amazing so I have the vet coming today to do the annual blood tests and to do some tagging which she couldn't do earlier because unfortunately unfortunately she had breast cancer and was on chemo for quite a while but she's back she's going to be at the farm later today so i have got lots of treats for the pigs to keep them entertained while she takes blood so treats chopped up the vet has arrived and um we'll be doing the blood letting and uh, christine is just finding out how the vet wants to do this I'm standing here with the pigs, and if you look in the distance over there, look who's watching over everything on the rock. Not uh, Tundi for a change, but Juno, the Lion Queen, <laughs> because she can't be a Lion King. Right, we're going to start off with Cocoa Pop. After a traumatic afternoon, uh, taking blood from the pigs and having, letting them have their vaccinations, um, have to relax with a bit of a barbecue. Alright, going to do a little bit more bottles while I wait for um, my kettle to boil for my second cup of coffee of the morning. But um, I'll show you now, having left it out just like the label's been covered with dew, how easy it is to get the labels off. See, just peel straight off now. So I need to use this wheelbarrow 
but it's got all these bottles in so I'm just see label off easy um I'm just yeah sitting here while I'm waiting for the kettle to boil as I said removing labels going through to um Stella Branco a bit later I've got some building stuff I need to get. I need to get some more cement and I need to get um, more roofing stuff for a new pig house. So work never stops on this farm. There is always a project to be working on. So... keep forgetting some of these bottles have a label at the back as well the Carlsberg ones it seems Carlsberg and Argus have battle uh, battles labels at the back as well so. oh, babies are about to wake up over there so yesterday was a traumatic day for these pigs because the vet came and as you can see Coco Pop has her ear tag in now the vet came to take blood and um, she's waiting for her food that's why she's pacing up and down like this uh, vet came to take blood give their vaccinations and do the ear tagging and the reason why the vet hadn't been able to come earlier was because she was on sick leave for quite a few months so, I was going to um, video the vet visit, but honestly, the screaming that the pigs do um, during the whole process of getting them to meet <laughs> EU requirements by getting the testing done, uh, the blood test, they have to have blood tests twice a year. And uh, the vaccination part wasn't so bad, but oh my goodness. Um, it was traumatic for pigs and for myself. So I decided not to put you through that. And so I didn't film it because it's not nice. Let's just put it that way. But you know what? The minute they we release it took actually took three hours to do 12 pigs <laughs> um, piglets can't get done until they're about 10 weeks old so um, they didn't get vaccinations or anything but obviously they get it through the mother's um, milk babies are fully into their solids now and see some of the greedy ones try and take the biggest possible pieces. But yeah, fully into solids. Then we go and feed the other ones because they are really having a choir going there. Are we having a bit of a piggy choir? Are we having a piggy choir over here? All of you. All of you ready for a food time? You ready? Okay, let's do it. So yesterday I also got two new pigs. Um, this is actually the brother and sister of uh, Mallow Puff and Tim Tam. So the one with the black spots on, similar to uh, Malopath, is called Jelly Bean. Um, her previous owner called her Juno, but they're exactly the same as my dog, so I don't want to have two Junos on the farm. So I've changed her name to Jelly Bean. And um, Clarence over here 
who is looking like he's going to be just as fat as George. He's a, um, he's castrated. So uh, jelly beans never been bred before. And um, yeah, so we'll keep his name as Clarence. So we've got Clarence over here and jelly bean. So what I'm doing is just they in this empty pen where there's actually lots of grass at the moment um, so they can get to know the other pigs across the other side of the fence. So we want to get them um, familiar with each other. Um, so I'll probably keep them here for two days. They had their vaccine, they came just before the vet arrived. So they had their vaccinations, but they haven't got their ear tags yet. So when the vet comes back on the 10th of December to give the follow-up vaccinations, um, they'll get their ear tags put in. But oh my goodness, like the vaccination part is not the problem. It was catching them um, to be able to do their ear tags. And, and because kuni kunis are so fat and they have so much fat around their necks, they can't draw blood from for the blood the mandatory blood tests you can't draw the blood from um, the neck area it has to come from under the tail so that means they use like a a horse twitch around yeah the the top jaw upper jaw um, to restrain them um, while the tails are lifted to get the blood from that area. But, oh my goodness, the restraining part, that's what made them scream. And it was like, it was horrible. It was horrible. But I have to say that the minute you've, as soon as you start taking the blood, they've already calmed down. But um, the minute... You let them go. They, I had a whole big bucket of treats, uh, full of treats with me. And they were eating like nothing had ever happened. So it didn't, it didn't have any effect on them at all. But what we are going to have to do is um, build like a chute or something. Because... And, and, and to try and get the pigs into that when we have vet visits because this restraining them like that is just way too um, I know this is the way that it gets done everywhere but I don't at least yeah yeah they'll probably when they take blood they're going to always have to restrain them like that even if I have the shoot and it's just I don't like hearing my pig scream. But they are all fine today. And they've got ear tags in and even uh, Chris and, and um, Maggie who uh, had their ear tags ready from when they were in the UK. They've now had to get Portuguese ones as well. So they've got two ear tags. So you can see is Maggie with her two ear tags in. Hey Maggie, two ear tags. I'm just looking at um, Jelly Bean's feet over here. Um, definitely going to have to do some hoof trimming. Um, I won't do it just yet because I don't think they're ready for any work to be done on them after yesterday's. Thing. But if you look, her hooves are too, way too long. Look at that. Now my pigs are generally okay because they walk on hard ground and rocks and, and that. But these definitely are going to have to be trimmed.
They're trying to get the babies. No, not you. Coming out. No, 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 no. You're staying inside. You're staying inside. You're staying inside. Yes. Yes, you too. You're staying inside. So, if you're wanting some holiday reading, you can check out some of my books that I've written um, in the description below. If you've got like a Kindle or an e-reader, you might want to yeah, add to your reading list for the holidays. If you are planning on buying um, Christmas presents or holiday gifts from Amazon. I'd appreciate it if you can enter Amazon through my affiliate link below. You don't have to buy that particular product, but if you use that to enter Amazon, then I will get a very, very, very minuscule percentage of what you buy, but it all adds up and it helps me a lot and if you are looking for some holiday gift ideas you can always check out my merchandise um, which you can order through my website the link is also down there below so in the meantime stay safe stay sane and I'll see you on the next video